player of the game. How about just give the game ball to Daniel Ortega? He was running touchdowns so many times and so fast that the last touchdown just went away from my highlight reel. Went poof. St. Mike's winning 50 to nothing over Santa Fe tonight. Los Alamos Hilltoppers at John Lerma's place, the Berlin Eagles. Just let him know from the very beginning that we're in here to win this ball game. First quarter, Eagles in the red zone. The quarterback Chris Peralta handing off to Andrew Castillo up the gut. Seven to nothing, home team. That's how they like it. Fans saying, that. yeah, that'll work. More Eagles. Trent Barber getting the ball, trying to find fight off a defender and ops. The pigskin is out in the hilltoppers recovery. That should have been oops. <laughs> I'm thinking about the game, Black Ops. Second quarter, Berlin looking for more. Chris Peralta calling his own number for good reason. See the hole in the defense and. That man is in the end zone, 14 to nothing. Berlin Eagles. Hilltoppers trying to get some themselves, some offense. Quarterback Bryce Van Etten dropping back, lets the ball go, tipped, tipped. In the end zone, Berlin's Andrew Castillo with the interception, and that's a backbreaker. Berlin wins it, 28 to 14 is the final score. Welcome back, Mesilla Valley and New Mexico Military Institute start the night the same way, winless, one team, Officially getting off the snide tonight in Roswell. Always like seeing the mascot. <laughs> and he's got some moves. Look at that. Jose Lira for NMMI. Handing off to Pigwai Dong for a gain of 15 on the play. And then another handoff. Sterling Fitzwater taking it in for the touchdown. NMMI feeling good. The coach is happy. Keep your composure. All right, coach. They're going to do that. NMMI going for the extra point. Faking it. Blade Allen making the catch for two. Then Masia Valley, the comeback. Tristan Franzoy stepping back, looking to his left and finding Brandon Rue. A sharp cut to the middle. Then the Mexico Military Institute got the soldiers out there saying, we win the game. 48 to 14, NMMI getting their first victory. All right, time to talk about this power pole again. And for that, Lawrence, we're going to open up your mic, man. Yeah, you know, I mean, Rio Rancho dropping all the way to seventh. Come on, man. Oh, what, what, uh, do I send some favoritism they lost, <laughs> You didn't bring your they lost, jacket and you're, like, cheering for your team They now? lost to Cruces, oh, the number hey, one man, seed, la, or the, the overall number one team last week, you know. Uh, but, on. hey, they bounced back tonight. A lot of those top teams are going to be hard to beat coming down to yeah, it. Yeah, that's so. a pretty good-looking poll. It man. is a very good-looking poll. We'll see what Cleveland has to offer. Mm -hmm. and, I think, I think I think Los Cruces may be in line for a repeat. I think right now they, they've shown their power, but it's going to be interesting down the stretch because Mayfield's going to have something to say about it as well as Cleveland. And, you know, Goddard, of course, is in District 4A. I think they might have that sewn up. And Class 4A, I mean. Goddard and Los Lunas, yeah. You yeah. Know, uh, yeah so, we'll, we'll see what happens there. And how about Hobbs, huh? 12. They yeah, might be out of it by next week. I don't know what yeah, that Hobbs, was. Yeah, Hobbs uh, taking it on the chin to those Goddard Rockets tonight, man. It's that true. Was, it's a tough one. It's tough, but, you know, Rio Rancho beat Goddard, so he's selling that out. Oh, wow. Get <laughs> I'm this just man kidding. out of here. I'm showing you. All right. Well, we got to go. Lawrence is stuck on Rio Rancho, and I'm stuck on no highlights because <laughs> we're completely out. We'll see you next week.